Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we are going to understand how to update Stripe payment details on Discord. So here let's assume that you use Stripe to collect the payments and now you want that whenever you are going to receive a new payment, then you want to notify your team on Discord. So now to do this, you need to build an integration between these two applications for which you can use this amazing integration and automation software that is Pabli Connect. So here to do this, the trigger application will be Stripe and the action application will be Discord. So if you want to learn more about this integration, follow me through the screen. In this video, we are going to understand how to update Stripe payment details on Discord channel. So here let's assume that you use Stripe to collect payments for your products. So now your objective is to notify your team members on Discord about the payment that is received. So now to do this, you need to build an integration between these two applications. So this here is the home page of Pabli Connect. So as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and every month you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I'm signing in. So now this here is the all applications page by Pabli. So here I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. So this here is my dashboard and now to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. So now in this dialog box appearing, I'm going to give my workflow a name. So here I've named it as update Stripe payment details on Discord channel. And on my left hand side, you can see these are the folders which I have created before. So I want to save this workflow in the folder named as Stripe. So here I'm going to click on create. So as I did that, this here is a very important window which consists of trigger and action. Basically, trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation and integration will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So action is an automated response of your trigger application and in a workflow, you can only have one trigger but multiple action applications. So now moving to my use case that is to update Stripe payment details on Discord channel. So moving to my trigger window here, I'm going to search for Stripe as my trigger application and here it is. So now moving to the trigger event as I want to get the payment details. So here I'm going to use the trigger event as new charge. So now moving to my action window as I want to notify my team members on Discord. So here Discord will be my action application. And the action event will be to send channel message. So here you can see that as I've selected my action application and the action event along with my trigger application and the trigger event. So here my objective is to update the Stripe payment details on Discord channel. That means whenever there will be a new payment, then I want to notify my team members on Discord about the payment received. So now to do this here in Pabli Connect, firstly, I need to establish a connection between Stripe and Pabli Connect. So now this here is a webhook URL is given and along with that a help desk is given. So read this help desk given below carefully because this webhook URL will act as a bridge to connect your Stripe account with Pabli Connect. So now to do this, I'm going to take you to my Stripe account and here I am in test mode. So now firstly, I need to build an integration between Stripe and Pabli Connect. So to do that, I will go to developers and in developers, I will go to webhooks. And in webhooks, here I'm going to click on this plus add endpoint. So now here, I need to mention the webhook URL. So from Pabli Connect, I'm going to copy it. And here I'm going to paste the same. So now moving to this, select events to listen to. So here from select events, I'm going to charge. And now here, I'm going to select it as charged succeeded. So it will occur when a charge is successful. So once I've selected it, now I'm going to click on add events. And now here you can see this here is the endpoint URL. This here is the version that is the current version which I'm using. So over here, I've selected the event as well. And now I'm going to click on add endpoint. So here you can see that a new webhook has been created. So going back to Pabli Connect. So here you can see this waiting for a webhook response. That means now I have to do a test submission or record. So the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So now to do this, I'm going to do a dummy payment. That will be a test payment in Stripe. So here in Stripe, I will go to home. And now here I'm going to click on create and go to payment part. So here I'm going to create a dummy payment. So let me assume that the amount is 900 and the customer is 
let's say demo user so this here is the email id and name of the customer so now moving to the description that says that is for youtube webinar and the statement descriptor is pabli so here this is the payment method and now what i'm going to do is so now as i've mentioned all of the details here i'm going to click on submit payment so here you can see that the payment was successful we have processed your payment so now i'm going to take it to pabli connect and here you can see that i have received a response so here is the type that was the event type as charge succeeded scrolling down to some other details so here the object status is also succeeded so now scrolling down here you can see the object description that was youtube webinar and here is the statement descriptor that was pabli here is the details of the customer so here is the name email and now these are the billing details so over here if you would have noticed that the amount which was made was for rupees 900 only and in pabli connect the amount is of 90000 so here this is happening because the decimal is missing so now to get the amount in proper format i'm going to click on this addiction step and here i'm going to use number formatter by pabli So number formatted by Pabli will help me to perform a math operation. I'm going to click on connect. And now in numbers, I'm going to map the amount. So here I'm searching for the amount and this here is the amount and I've mapped it. So now the operation will be to divide. So here I'm going to divide 90,000 by 100 to get the actual amount. So I'm going to click on save and send test request. So now here you can see that the amount which was 900 is successfully appearing as the actual amount 900 only. So now as I've got the details moving to my another action application that was discord. So as I want to notify my team members on discord. So firstly, I need to establish a connection between discord and Pabli connect. So in order to do that, I'm going to click on connect. So here you can see that discord and Pabli connect is successfully connected. So now moving to webbook URL. So here I need to mention the webbook URL from Discord. So I'm going to take you to my Discord account. And here you can see that this is the channel that I've created by the name of Stripe Payments. And over here, I want to send the payment details. So now in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to the settings part. And here I will go to integrations. And in integrations, I will go to create webhook. So here you can see that it says that you have no webhooks. Create a new webhook. So here I'm going to create a webhook. And here is the webhook. And now here you can see that the name is Captain Hook. The channel is Stripe Payments. I'm going to copy the webhook URL. So once this is done, I'm going to publicly connect. And here I'm going to paste the same. So after mentioning the webhook URL, here I need to mention the message which I want to send in my Discord channel. So as I want to send the payment details, so here I'm going to frame the message. So now this here is the message which I framed. It goes as please find the Stripe payment details. And these are the details which I want to mention in the message. So here to mention the details, I'm going to use this method of mapping. So here I'm going to map the name. So basically mapping is to insert the data from previous step. So as I've received the response from Stripe, so here I'm going to map the name. So now moving for email. So here I'm going to search for email from the response received and I have mapped it. So now moving to city here from the response received, I'm going to search for city and I have mapped it. So now moving to the product again from the response received, I'm going to search for the product and I have mapped it. So now moving to the price again from the response received, I'm going to map it. So here as I've received the response from number formatted by Pabli, that was 900, which was the actual amount. So I've mapped it. So as you can see that I have mapped all of the details. So this method of mapping is important so that every time you receive a new response with new data, so that data can be taken into consideration in these fields. If I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information would have become static, which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received a new response. So to avoid that problem, we map the information. So now scrolling down, if you want to mention the bot name or bot icon, you can do that. So here I'm simply going to click on save and send test request. So here I've received the response and this here is a positive one. So now I'm going to my Discord channel. So here you can see the details of the Stripe payment. 
So here you can see the name goes as demo user. Here's the email, city, product and the price. That means the Stripe payment details which I wanted to share on my Discord channel is shared successfully. So this integration and automation is a successful one. That means now whenever there will be a new payment, then automatically the payment details will be sent on Discord channel. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at And if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.